hospital bed waiting for the doctor to show up, and I hear a ding on my cell phone. And I look, and it's a message from my friend Eleanor. And the message says, I just found your brand new solo show. You're welcome. <laughs> and under it was a link. So I clicked the link, and there was an article. Hmm. The first black drag queen was a former slave. William Dorsey Swan was born in the year 1858, and his friends called him the Queen. <laughs> he survived both slavery and the Civil War. In 1896, he was sentenced to 10 months in jail under suspicion of keeping a disorderly house, which is another name for running a brothel. <laughs> hey, I like this guy already. <laughs> He went on to become the very first gay activist on record. So the doctor shows up, and they wheel me down to surgery, and they put me on the operating room, and I lie there, and I watch as the anesthesia slips down. Ten, my eyes start to get a little heavy. Nine, I can feel the burning sensation of the anesthesia enter into my body. Eight. I tell myself, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Seven, I start to get a little sleepier. Six, five, four, three, two. And there I stand in a very dark room, and in the distance I see a figure walking towards me. And they get closer and closer, and I tell myself, don't worry, Les, this is a drug-induced dream. Everything's <laughs> just fine. She gets a little closer, and I see that she has a big hat and a very old-fashioned dress. She gets a little closer, and I can see that she's black. And she gets right up to me, and I ask her, who are you? Well, who are you? <laughs> uh, my, my name is Lex. Uh, uh, who are you? Well, you can call me the Queen. And I am here because you, my friend, need to get your shit together. And if you want to find out what happens, you can be here at the thrust on Friday.